That's my nigga Bob. My nigga Bob would never harm nobody. I hate that map so bad. I hate that map. Oh wow, unexplained phenomena occurred at the graveyard farm. I didn't think about to start that quick. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed the bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the corn. Okay, cornfield. Lights moved in a random direction at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, bite him. Should you complain that someone was walking under their windows? Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception. Drawing attention to oneself or a sensation about an alien evasion. Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm. Take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Yeah, 431 to go. Until 1000. I know. That's, that's the scary part. Which I thought I was going to be able to... uh equal out on lp today that was supposed to be the day that we at least hit diamond three i know i haven't played apex in like a couple of days but i ain't have a fucking working controller these oreos are good welcome in everybody this is they are here abduction the alien little horror game i hope y'all got something to snack on because i do my ass is eating on these goddamn oreos but we a news reporter. We about to go in here, get a report for the news. That is definitely aliens. Mm -hmm. Ain't no doubt about it. Ain't no doubt about it. That's crazy though, because the whole thing about aliens is them being kind of firm now. Like, what do we do? Nigga, what? They can be walking among us like at any minute. In the cornfield. Oh, that was just writing. I'm about to die. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something had to happen to our daughter. Or Missy, my wife, down for help. I said, and I went to check out the farm. We'll live, leave notes for you and the police in the case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. Well, that was a plan to inspect the house. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody home? My name is Todd. Or actually, I don't know what my name is. My name is something, but I'm pretty sure I'm a female. Cliche. Indeed. Maybe a little bit. Crop circles. Yeah, that sounds about right. I've been through that state for a long time. Why have I never knew about this? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why are aliens so infatuated with the fucking cornfields what's so good about our crop like all those movies had to come from something right they just don't come out of nowhere all those designs and things like you think they saw those in their dreams or something or you just like all right how about we just make some weird ass symbols and just call them alien symbols i think they saw it somewhere and was just like all right let's put this inside of this movie who the fuck was that Huh? Walkie talk. Friend wants a missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear strange sounds. Yeah, I don't like that. Me no like. And the photo members of the Sherman family. That's a little girl. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed. And the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. What things? Oh, that's my nigga Bob. My nigga Bob would never harm nobody. Nothing of alien crops. It's been a good minute since I seen fucking Gary uh, movie three. They had crops and shit in that one. It's so crazy that y'all be remembering every movie that y'all be watching. Like, that's crazy to me. I can barely remember the past couple movies that I watched. I can't remember the last movie that I watched. 
I've learned a lot about these things. They're called the Greys. They're not little green men, but big and creepy dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head is portioned into the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. The voices are like nothing else. The aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts... <laughs> it all starts with bright light. The sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed. Have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears. Animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in an unexpected place getting probed. For example, in the middle of the field or on a road a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terminal memories. Please remember. People remember terrifying experiences, aliens. <coughs> Establish control over their minds and... This has affected their psyche. Also, they found their marks on their body and decisions to be exact. They're getting probed. They're getting probed. During palpitation, it felt like I'm some it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under their skin. Oh, that's not probing, never mind. Thought that was probing. It's not like that, it's a like the rod. Don't do that. Oh, the ring? Yeah, I remember like little key details from the movies, but I don't remember like everything. Thank you from my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the alien. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned. Alright, alien. Cute. I'm gonna read it. Fuck it. I wasn't about to read all of it, but I'm, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna stop being a little bitch. Ugh. It was the most exciting and scary day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but true. I was finishing my fishing from the abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was bit. What? I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or... When it was hovering, I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there, I felt zero gravity. Everything around me became blindly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table, as if I was well to it. They started standing over me, it seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up to the pier later in the evening. I really made it home. My head was buzzing, and I walked home in the day. I walked home as if in a delirium. When I get there, when I got there, I don't know why I read it like that. I found several cuts in my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? Oh, that's not probably near my. I'm scared to sleep. I'm not scared to sleep. Ah! Oh. Damn. Am I getting abducted? Oh, shit. Hide in the closet. To make it that face foe. <laughs> Hello? Uh, ah, what? The fuck is that? George! Billy, my dude! Stay back! I got a flashlight! And I know how to use it! I know how to use it! Photo of dead animals, probably... What the hell? What the hell is going on here? Oh, there's some weird shit. Turn this off. I can't turn it off? Oh. Oh, there's a note. They wouldn't put a note here to me. Now, if weird shit happens to me, Jerron, I'm blaming you. You jinx me. As a child, headaches begin to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor a dozen of times, but no one could explain the reasons for their occurrence. Now I understand why. I'm, now I understand why the doctors could not determine. I'm sorry, the paper over there keeps scaring me because it's like moving. 
That's what doctors could not determine the cause of migraine. The answer is simple, abduction. I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraine began. The cuts that I noticed in behind the ear were traces of them. I'm sure they implanted something in me. Some kind of transmitter or implant because this I forgot everything. I definitely didn't, huh, I'm not crazy. A little draw of strength advice. Got the alien implant, maybe take it? I got the implant. Why is it? Oh, oh. oh shit, you scared the shit out of me. Where did he go? How did you walk past this part? Hello? Eh. Uh, so loud. Calm it down. <laughs> hey! Hey, you lizard! Back, you lizard! Hey, run! Do a motherfucking boss hey, check, run. bitch! Run, you lizard! Oh! How you gonna tell me to run, but I can't run? Yo, Ari, what's good? Oh, we're kinda screwed. 